How to solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute. First layer. Step one, scramble. We're gonna start this method with a solved cube. So we're on the same page, we're gonna scramble our cubes the same way. Time out. If your cube is already scrambled, don't panic. This method will solve any scramble, but starting off with the same scramble Chris has will make it easier to follow along. To do so, grab a screwdriver and break apart your cube. Then put it back together again. So we're on the same page. We're going to scramble our cubes the same way. We're going to keep the green on the front and the white on the top. The first turn we're going to make is a 180 degree turn on the right face. So we look at the right face and make a 180 degree turn. We go back to the front face, which is the green face. The next turn is a 180 degree turn on the down face. So we look at the down face and we make a 180 degree turn. We go back to the front. The next turn is a clockwise turn 90 degrees on the up face. We look at the up face, make a clockwise turn 90 degrees. We go back to the front. The next turn is a clockwise 90 degree turn on the left face. So we look at the left face, make a 90 degree turn, then we go back to the front. Our next turn is a 180 degree turn on the back face. We look at the back face, make a 180 degree turn, and go back to the front. Our next turn is a counterclockwise turn on the left face. We look at the left face, make a counterclockwise turn, and go back to the front. Our next turn is a 90 degree turn clockwise on the front face. We're already on the front face. The next turn is a 180 degree turn on the up face. So we'll look at the up face, make a 180 degree turn. Our next turn is a clockwise turn on the back face. So we'll look at the back, make a 90 degree turn, and go back to the front. Our last turn will be a clockwise turn on the left face. We'll look at the left face and make a clockwise turn. Then we'll go back to the front. And now we have a scrambled cube. Step two, daisy cross. Our goal is to make a white cross with a yellow center, which looks like a daisy. This is the hardest step for most people. Normally you just experiment with it until you get it. But because you and I need the exact same scramble, I'm gonna lead you through it step by step. In order to make the daisy, we're gonna turn the cube over so the yellow center is on the top. Our goal is to have four white edges surrounding the yellow center. We're going to first look for a white edge. Here's one. In order to add this to the top four, we're going to make a clockwise turn on the right side. So now that we have one, we're going to look to add our next three. We're going to turn the cube until we find one. Here's one. We're going to turn this counterclockwise, and now we have two white and two not. We're going to look for another one. Here's one. And we're going to turn the right side clockwise, and now we have three on the top and one missing. Here's the last one. We're going to turn the top clockwise in order to turn the right clockwise, and now we have our daisy. Step three, white cross. Once we have a daisy, it takes us only a few turns to get us a white cross. If we look at a side, we have a red edge and a blue center. We want them to line up. You can use any edge. In this case, we'll use the blue one. You take the blue edge, and since it doesn't match with the green center, we'll turn the top. Because it's an orange center, it doesn't match again. We'll turn the top again. Now that the blue and the center and the edge match, we'll turn the front 180 degrees. Then we'll look for another edge and center pair. In this case, we'll use the green one. Because it doesn't match with the orange one, we'll turn the top. Now that it matches with the green, we'll turn the front 180 degrees. Then we're gonna look for another one. In this case, the red one is already lined up with its center. We'll just turn that 180 degrees. We'll look for our last edge, in this case, it's orange. We'll turn the top until it matches the orange center. Then we'll turn it 180 degrees. Now you have a white cross.
Step 4. Corners of the first layer. After this step, you'll be done with the first layer. Now that we've solved the white cross on the bottom layer, we're going to attempt to put in the corners into this bottom layer. We do this by finding a corner piece with a white sticker on it. In this case, we'll use this one blue, orange, and white. We want to put this corner in between the blue and orange faces. The face is determined by the center sticker. By turning the top twice, now we see that the, the corner piece is in between the orange and blue face. Now you look at where the white sticker is. In this case, it's on the blue face. So you face the blue face towards you. Then the algorithm to put the corner in is You'd make an, a counterclockwise 90 degree turn on the U face. You make a counterclockwise 90 degree turn on the left face. Then you make a clockwise turn on the U face. Last, you make a 90 degree turn clockwise on the L face. Now we just put in our first corner. The next thing you want to do is find another corner with a white sticker on it. In this case, we'll use the red, green, and white corner. I'm going to line it up with the faces. Once again, the faces are determined by the center. So it's in between the center red and the center green. Um, because the white sticker is on the right side again, on the green face, I'll have that facing me. Then I'll repeat the algorithm again. Up, counterclockwise. Left, counterclockwise. Up, clockwise. Left, clockwise. Now that we've solved two corners, we're going to solve our third one. In this case, we'll solve the green, orange, and white corner. Once again, we need to line it up in between the green and orange face because the corner is green and orange. In this case, our white sticker is on the left face, which is the green, as opposed to the right face, which is the orange. So we have to have the green face facing us, and now we use this algorithm. We're going to turn the top clockwise, the right face clockwise, the top counterclockwise, and the right face counterclockwise. Now we have solved three corners. We have one more corner to solve. In this case, the, our corner, the red and blue corner, is already in between the red and blue face so we don't have to turn the top anywhere. Then, do the algorithm. Because it is on the right side, we use this algorithm. Turn the top counterclockwise, turn the left face counterclockwise, turn the top clockwise, turn the left side clockwise. Now we have solved our first layer.